Lift your hands to heaven. Masikotoli baladash. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. today just bring the Holy Ghost with your hands lifted up with your hands lifted to heaven bring the Holy Ghost exalt his name Palamandash when I was down you lifted me I had no home you gave me a shelter snobbed at me but look at me now I'm a living testimony yes we are Shelter. People have been 
at me But look at me now We want to thank you. Hallelujah. We bless your name. What, what is worship? What is worship? Worship. Worship is not singing slow. You know, in church, when you say, let's worship God, we must slow the pace of the song. Worship is an expression of love. When you express your love for God, an expression of love, an expression of love, an expression of care, an expression of adoration. I want to see people who are not serving, like I said, who are doing a crusade is a different thing. But I'm talking to Christians. Of course, we have a crusade. But I want something of believers. That you get to a point you are not serving God because of what you need. No. Never. Not what you need. Not what you expect. No, you are serving God because you love him. At that point, there is no limit to what you can achieve. No limit. And that, that's That's, that's my mentality about Christianity. Love for God. I do it because I love him. Another point, you know, that is when the Bible says, blessed is he that's not offended in me. You can't be offended. You can't be offended. You know, if you have a ministry, and you have to work with that person, they sell you or you have any. What will make a pastor loyal to an assignment? The proof that a pastor, a man came to work that any year is sent to the police service. When a man is sent to a place and is offended, he didn't come to work. He came to our best. The man who comes to work, if we take him anywhere, the same grace will be replicated. <laughs> Expression of love. I did a song on the come up. It's an expression of love. It's a love song. It's a love song. Are you ready? Love of my life. Savior of my soul. The Holy One of Israel. You died on the cross just to set me free. Get my own me but no one I Yeah. 
realm of the spirit. I saw something that I need to talk about. I don't know why you like Sylvia. Sylvia. Yes. Her name is Sylvia. Her name is Sylvia. Sylvia. Sylvia, yeah. Why am I in the house and I enter into a house and I'm sitting down this and I'm seeing things like wires. I'm seeing things like, like bulbs. I'm seeing things like wires, bulbs, electrical. I don't know. Yes, I do in electrical and hardware. That's what you deal on? Yes. Can I pray with you? Yes, sir. Lately, the enemies have sat on your finances. Yes, sir. The enemies have sat down on your finances. Things have got so bad. And at this point, you are asking what's going on. But the God that I serve is about to bring a turn around. What's Makuba? Makuba is my face boy. It's my face boy, sir. Dabon, Dabon. Dabon is my second dead, my second born child. Who, who bears your name? Is the third born junior Kapam boy. Who bears Tumelo? Tumelo. Tumelo is the last born. Are those your four children's name? Yes, sir. Haba father. Brother, stand up. My name is Johnson Suleiman. I hear God. Your life has changed. Shout Jesus! Jesus! Egiza Kudima Nahodosha. Are you celebration? Are you celebration? Celebration has come for you. Your time out. Give the Lord a clap up and We worship you. Breathe upon me, bread of heaven. Breathe upon me, spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender to your name, most high, I am yielding to your spirit as I'm walking in your world. Lord Jesus, I adore. Lord Jesus, I adore. Lord Jesus, I adore. You're holy. Can we be able to see that, please? Like the woman by the way, I was thirsty. 
looking for the waters that couldn't satisfy. And I heard my master said, Your calling, come and drink from the wells that never shall run dry. Feel my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven, you will feed me. Till I want to Feed my cup, fill my cup and fill it up. Bread of heaven, you will feel me. Till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up. Bread of heaven, fill me, me up to till I want no more. Fill my, my cup and bear me in more. Oh, Leah, Kati. If you are, take your seat. If your name is John, just raise your hand where you are. If your, if your name is John, I didn't say stand, I said just raise your hand. Behind John, I'm saying Ike. John Ike. John Ike. Okay. Is you? John Ike. Is you? Come. We are who? John. Choose one of the names. I see God give you an explosion. Because I, you know, God has brought, God, I saw something in the realm of the spirit. God, there's an anointing upon you. Eh? But there is a contest spiritually. You are passionate. When you see people suffer, you are passionate. And you cry every time asking God, give me this anointing to help these people. It's a passion. What God wants to do for you is not just an anointing to help people. God wants to give you a grace. And what I saw in the realm of the spirit is that the grace that God wants to give this man is a grace for properties. You think I'm guessing, right? Can I talk to you? You can. Can I talk to you? Mm-hmm. You see, I'm right. I s- wait. You think I'm guessing, right? You have a church. You pastor. Are you the senior pastor? Can I pray with you? Dr. Man, I saw something in the realm of the spirit. Eh? What I see, I saw you in Johannesburg. Yeah. I don't know if there's something like Rudolph. Rudolph. Wait, wait. When you get to Rudolph, 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 Rudolph. Huh? You go. There's something like Van Wick. Van, 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 Van Wick. You go straight. There is a post office. Beyond the post office, there's something like government streets. Could say corner. Could say corner. Could say. I see a church like the fruitful something. The fruitful place. <laughs> Can I pray with you? Yes, sir. I saw something in the realm of the spirit. One miracle will relocate you. Oh. Why are you a shadow? You know him? He's your pastor. Brother, member. You came with three? Yeah, one. Go and bring the one with the challenge. Peace. 
Come. Come. Peace. Eh? Peace. Kumalo. Kumalo. Eye problem. Go and bring her. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She's blind. Ushers, ushers, leader, she's blind. Leader, leader, leader. Let's hold the hand. Don't leave the blind person from behind. Sit, sit down, everybody. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. We told her nothing. We told her nothing. Concern to you. This is a concern. Can I pray? You know what happened to her? You know what happened to her? Do you, do you, do you, do you know what how it came about? No. Come to the lady. It's about three months. Huh? Three months, two weeks, four days. That she's been like this. Do you want to see? Yes, sir. When? Now. Now. Please All right, Pastor, come. I say you need an anointing. If I pray for this lady, obviously she will see. Obviously. That's not a question. Obviously. If I pray for her, you know, if I lay my hands on her, obviously these eyes will open. So that's a miracle, but that will not be a surprise that when I pray for him and he prays for her. So, you brought. So, we are not talking of a coincidence because if, he, if, he, if, he, if, he, if he, it can't be a coincidence because if, if he had that anointing for this, he would not have brought her here. You know? <laughs> so, don't say what you say. So, this anointing of the Spirit that comes upon your life. Should be an anointing for him. Miracles, signs, wonders, fresh. Living, fresh, mighty God. Pick him up. Come. Put your hand in the eyes. Let me get come. Say, Father, by this anointing that I've received, eyes, eyes, open, open. open. Say that again. By this anointing I've received, eyes, open. One more time. By this anointing I've received, eyes, open. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. One more time. By this anointing, I will receive eyes open in Jesus' name. That's all. And there is an anointing for properties for pastors. A property anointing. I wish you understand what I see. If pastors don't want it, I can give it to individuals.
receive your property. I prayed for you in the dream. When was that? Three months. Wow. Your church watches me like this. He just said that he changed his ninth digit day because of fire night. That his church watches us live. Yes, sir. You know, any place called Botswana? That's where I'm from, sir. That's where I'm from. Stand up. Please, who is McLean? McLean. Ebba Rebe. Ebba Rebe or something like that. Who is McLean? Something like that. Ebba Rebe. Ebba Rebe. I saw a man with two kids. You have a court case. Your wife is called Elizabeth. What's your name? Eh? Meklan. Eberbe. Is that what I said? Your wife is what? Elizabeth with two kids. Now, where's your wife? She's still at the station there with my kids. Okay. Who is Emmanuel? My son. Who is Rejoice? My son, my, my daughter. Years. Come. Go get your family. What? That's right. How are you, man? God bless you. What's your name? You have what? What's your name? Jamaica. No, what's your other name? Rejoice. Rejoice. How old are you? Six. Six? Yes. <laughs> hmm? What? No worries. You yeah, just yeah, got to see me. Now you are seeing me. You are looking at me. Eh? Love the grace of my life. I want to submit to you. Mm. You want the same grace? Should I tell you how it comes? Even stand up. Should I pray for you? Should I release what brings the grace? Problems. Hunger. Criticism. You will still want the grace. Masako Parada Shipman. Brother, you won't go to jail. You are on the verge. Are you listening? I saw, don't, don't cry. I saw something just now. I saw him chained. His hands. There is somebody. Was a court case, and this person has a demon with you. Are you listening? If you want me to talk, you can talk. But you are not innocent. Go away. You are the truth. This thing I'm talking about is not something you are innocent about. You are guilty. And I'm going to pray with you. Because what you do, Dr. Emmanuel, what I see is that what this man does, there are 62 people here who thought the same thing. 62. Bad. But you, you are a good man because you don't like it. 
But the problem you are telling yourself is that if I don't do it, what will I do? What can I can I talk? You are you have a you, you sit down, you 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 are a hard worker. Are you listening? You are a hard worker. I saw you in the realm of the spirit into sports. Into sports. I was a former professional soccer player. You're what? I was once a soccer player. I, traveled over I, the I world. saw you in Europe. I was, I, I was in Poland. I was in Germany. I was in places in Europe. I, they, they shifted me to Asia. I was in like, places all over the world. I saw. The wife is crying. I saw in the realms of the spirit. God is showing me something. And God is telling me. You tell yourself, if I don't do this, what am I going to do? Now, God is about to give you help. But as it stands now, as it stands now, I saw a case. And if, this, if I don't pray for you, I saw jail. And now it's going to, you are coming from court case yesterday. Now. I saw, I saw, if I don't pray for this man, I'm seeing a 27 year. Something that, something that this daughter of his will get married and they'll still be in jail. The daughter, he will not know a thing. Pastor, if it's only this man I came for, I'm satisfied. Holy words of our faith handed down to reason came to us through sacrifice. Oh, the faithful words of Christ, ancient word, ever true, changing me and changing. We have come with open hearts for the ancient word. Ancient word ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come. Somebody says, Jesus. Jesus. Have mercy. Have mercy. In wrath. In wrath. Remember mercy. Remember mercy. In wrath. In wrath. Remember mercy. Remember mercy. In wrath. In wrath. Remember mercy. Remember mercy. Brother. May the case change. He said, son, tell him to stop. Stop. You'll be shocked that doors will open from another way. Stop that life. A new life for you. A new beginning. Because this opportunity God has given you is going to be an opportunity that would have ruined you. If you go back, you will not survive. That's what? In the dream. What did I tell you? The very first one is it made me. What talk. what word did I tell you? You said to me that I should get out from her. That if you go back, I will be confiscated. When did you see the dream? After. When did you see the dream? That was last two months. Stand up. He said he saw it in the dream, and I said to him, go back. That's what he said. What he saw in the dream is what's happening right now. What is it? Can I pray with you? Who is this boy? Your only son. Your I like one. my yeah? older son. Your only son. I like the way you talk. Hey! Do I know you before? Huh? No, sir. Have I met you before? No, sir. Stand up. Does anybody here know you well? No, sir. You're alone here. You're alone here. 
Jangan terlalu jio. Yeah. Alaki bukit tau. Yeah. You know what's a little bit? What's a little bit? Can I pray with you? I like how you speak. <laughs> Come, follow me. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Can I pray for your health? The hand of God is touching you. God's hand is upon you. God is going to put your family together. Alright, you that. Blessed be your name. What can I take this? Oh, you. Wait for me. Father, I speak grace over his life. And let that grace be extended to everyone here. Let the man come. I saw a lady with you. And I saw a problem. Are you hearing me? Yes, That's why I saw a lady with you. And I saw a problem between both of you. And I want to pray about it. Can I yes, do that? Sir. Can I do that? Yes, sir. Because it's like a curse in the family issue of marriage and I want to break it and as I pray for him I pray for everyone under that same attack lift your two hands up whatever you're holding photographs flags keep them down open your hand let your hand be bare 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 where are you from Zimbabwe you come here why do they want to kill you let your hand be bare drop anything you're holding drop your paper Let your hand be bare. Can I pray with you? Huh? Is your what? Yes, yeah, it's my husband. Both of you have problems. Yes. You are sick, you are sick. Yes. Can I pray with you? Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. There is something I want to address in your blood. Yes, sir. All right? Sometimes when you're cooking, you can't complain. Yes, it's you asthmatic. Can't, because you can't breathe well. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Your yes, sir. Come. Open your hand. Say, Jesus. In my life, give me a strange miracle. Jesus. In my life, give me strange favor. Jesus. In my life, give me a strange testimony. Open your mouth and fire prayers. That Lord does not mock up. you are, I don't know why I hear this in my right ears. Recover all. Recover all. The hand of God heal your mom and make her whole. Recover all.
you know, uh, did, you, did you discuss this with anybody? Huh? I didn't discuss anything. Wait, do you know why? Okay. It's always that day. It's always that day. So we'll pray. God is going to bring peace. You don't have to. I'm not here to break relationships, but I'm here to correct errors. You know, yesterday, hmm, before you stepped out of the house, yes, both of you is. and this lady you are together, both of you quarrel. Exactly, and, exactly that day. And now, because what I see is that this one is not going to work. Aside the fact that you are living, anyone that you're not married to, that you are living with, you are both going to hell. That is Don't good. try to fine tune it. You are not married to you are married. Do not have sex with a man you are not married to. All he gave to you is a promise. You cannot give somebody something tangible when he gave you something abstract. I will marry you is abstract. Sleeping with him is tangible. So don't give somebody something tangible when all he gave you is something you are not married to your married. A ninth to the wedding doesn't make you married. Hard. Hard word. But true. Alright, so make a choice. You leave or she leaves. Before I pray for you, I leave. you are going to. I leave. I leave, mother of God. I leave. I leave. He knows. I leave. I'm going to pray with you. Don't worry. Your door is going to open. Amen. Amen. People, people don't love me tonight. You don't like what I'm saying to him. I will tell you the truth. That's what sets free. Don't move in with a man that you're not married to. Men, men, men like what took them time to get. Am I saying men? Is it true? Open his doors and surprise him. Congratulations. Whatever you are, lift your hands to heaven. Holy Father. Thanks. Put those hands to heaven and bless the Lord. Wow. Take your seat one minute. Can I show you something for just 30 minutes? I'm out of time. But please open your ears well. As I minister, your case will be the next to be announced. If you have your seed for this morning, the first set of people, come here. Come. The first set of people. You have your seed for this morning. Come here. Now. Mark 5, 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Read verse 26. And that's suffered many things of many physicians and has spent all she had. Verse 27, that's Mark chapter 5. And when she had heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. Read verse 28. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And when he looked round about to see that, see her that has done this thing, verse 33, the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done, and her came, fell down before him and told him all the truth. Let me tell five people, somebody touched me. Oh, come on, come on, talk that to seven people. Say, somebody touched me. we read sit down a woman touched Jesus and virtue left him what is virtue power there are many of you this is not your life something good left you because an evil hand touched you some of 
you hearing me today you are not supposed to be where you are but someone touched you and changed your star someone touched you and scattered your marriage someone touched you that is why you are still single if they touched you today i came to touch you i don't know who touched you but today i came to touch you psalm 105 and verse 15 said touch not my anointed i am an zechariah 2 7 zechariah chapter 2 and verse 7 he that touched you touched the apple one time jesus went was a, he rose from the dead about to go to the father and a lady was running to him in john chapter 12 verse 17 to 19 as the lady was coming close jesus said touch me tell somebody touch me not i prophesy everyone that has tampered with your life whoever has touched you in the wrong corner whoever has stretched an evil hand Maybe because they are angry at your marriage. Maybe they are angry at your rising. Maybe they are angry at your lifting. I prophesy. With this mouth I used to pray. The God of heaven will reply them. God will reply them. Lift your hand, shout, somebody touch me. Take your seat. Jesus, Son of God, they touched him, something left him. So, what makes you feel that if they touch you, you'll be normal? Son of God, they touched him, something. Some of you, did, you did not see the scripture in this dimension. <laughs> they touched him, something left him. I am Okosa. Man of God who touched him, a woman. Please, I'm sorry, with all due respect to females. I love you all the women here god bless you but women 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 are good people no no the truth who gave birth to jesus woman woman who gave birth to isaac who gave birth to isaac who gave birth to you who destroyed something Good people. There are men whose life were destroyed because they met a wrong woman. There are men whose life became shattered and scattered because they met a wrong woman. There are people looking at me now who are under the whims of a woman, who are under the is the deception of a woman somewhere am i talking to somebody here but women only destroy men who want to be destroyed you refuse to be destroyed you will not be destroyed don't allow your erection give you direction so men don't think with their brain they think through their boxes come a slave to a little girl there are certain that's why I say your mentality determines your locality you can be doing it and be escaping it but when you meet Delilah Say they are carrying you. They are carrying you. They, oh, let's go for vacation. Let me take you to London. Let me take you to Dubai. Dubai is not for it's not for single people. For married people, it's called Dubai. When you do Dubai. You do and buy. For married people. <laughs> you do. Oh, 
when someone touched Jesus Jesus knew someone touched him but he says somebody touched me Peter said nobody touched you but you said somebody touched me Peter said no no one do you know there comes a time in your life people think everything is right but you know something is not right you know in your heart that something is wrong why was Peter confused Jesus looked normal Jesus still looked okay there are some of us here people think you are doing well but you know you are not doing well people think things are okay with you but you know things are not normal because somebody this is not where I'm supposed to be I should have been married men come around me and they like me but after a while they change their mind this is not the star of my life this is not where I should be in ministry I have put on effort I have organized church growth strategies I have done revivers I have done crusades I have fasted I have prayed but I'm still on the same spot because somebody touched me I am not supposed to be local but somebody touched me my business is supposed to have exploded but somebody touched me my health is shaking because somebody touched me this is not my life this is not my level this is not where I should be I am bigger than this I am bigger than this level somebody somebody touched me somebody touched me I'm not supposed to be on this level Peter said but you are fine Jesus said no no Isaiah 42 he said these are people robbed they are spoiled. They are hid in prison houses. None yet deliver. Therefore, I pray and none yet restore. In other words, this is not me. This is not me. There are some of you you can't tell your family members that you are broke. They will never believe you. But deep down your heart, you know, you know, you know, you know. If you know the expectation people have of you, you'll be shocked. People have so much. They have huge expectation place demands but something is wrong because somebody i professor by the power of the holy ghost as you hear me in this hall or at all the three overflows as you hear my voice god is about to respond to you somebody touched me if you can't identify who touched you, you can't rectify what has been touched. Somebody touched me. I need to see it. I need to see who touched me. Take your seat. Can I talk to you? How do they touch? I'll tell you how they touch, why they touch. How do they touch? By points of contact. Jesus says, somebody touched my clothes. My clothes. Some of you, it's your photograph. Some of you, it's your clothes. Some of you, they can completely have a shock as you are. And that is why I see people who are, I'm not against it, it's nice, but I see people who are addicts to pictures. And it's the craze and the, the insanity that has, that has engrafted and engrafted the feminine agenda. We see, let's take a phone call self. Have you seen them? And they supposed to twist their mouth. What's that? Selfie. Eh? Huh? Flappy what? Flappy lips. Eh, uh, flappy. That's not selfish. That's selfish. They can use that. Jesus says, "Somebody touch my clothes. My clothes. <laughs> when they touch your man, you know Satan got this from God. He said that is that the diversion in Acts chapter nineteen. And Catholics were taken from Paul. In Acts chapter nine." died 
What stood the defense of her? They brought the clothes. They brought the clothes. Points Anything that represents you that is in the hand of your enemy, I retrieve it in Jesus' name. Whether it's your clothes or a pair of your shoes or they took money from your hand and they are using it against you since they took it your life went down I retrieve it by fire 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 Lift the way shawty Yes What was used against Joseph by the Potiphar's wife? Point of contact. Joseph said, I'm innocent. He said, The woman said, If you are innocent, why is your garment with me? Why was Joseph's brothers envious of him? Coat of many clothes. Did she let down the spies? The king of Israel was invited by another king, and he told the king, he said, Put on your kickly garment. The man said, No, I'm coming. When the man came, he gave him his own garment to wear. And the Bible said, And a battle break for they said, That is the king of Israel. And the Bible says, when they were coming close, he cried unto the Lord and the Lord helped him. He said, not me. The garment betrayed him. The garment deceived him. Jesus said, go and prepare a banquet. Prepare a hall. He said, invite the good people of the house. None came. Now go to the street. Bring the lame. Bring the blind. Bring the cripple. When they all came, he said, the bridegroom is going to go around. And anyone not putting the wedding garment will be disqualified. Point of contact. And that is why I told myself, if I'm anointed, my, my photographs are anointed. If I'm, I've seen pastors who are preaching on TV and the Sangoma stretch his hand. That's why I tell people, if you are not prayerful, don't go on television in this way. Because not only good people are watching you, evil people watch you. Stretch the hand and need some incantations. Before I started doing life service, I fasted for a long while. Because life is life. Life is life. It's not a detail. Life is life. You can be attacked. Life. Because the service is life. An arrow can be sent live because you are ministering live. So I am ready to also kill somebody. Point of contact. Is it your photograph? Is it your shoes? Is it money from your hand that somebody took? That somebody collected? Or a herbalist or anywhere maybe you were pregnant and you told somebody and when you got to the house they gave you something to wear as you wore it you began to bleed i don't know what they used i don't know the medium but i prophesy by the power of god i retrieve it i retrieve it i retrieve it take your seat why do they touch? Number one, they touch to provoke satanic exchange. Somebody has a satanic exchange. As she touched Jesus, something left Jesus and entered her. Good left Jesus, entered her, and her bad left her. Exchange. They touch you so they can change your star. Give you their problem and take your solution. Exchange. There are many people.
people under the sound of my voice who are going through satanic exchange I am an Amasaha. in first Kings chapter 3 there were two women in the house both of them were harlots one slept on a child a child died while it was night she went to collect the living baby of the other woman and she gave the woman the dead child when she woke up the woman looked on the bed a baby was dead she said this is not my baby somebody exchanged my baby this is not my life somebody took my star maybe when you were younger you used to be very brilliant but as you began to grow up you started going backward mentally your ministry was on fire but after you invited a guest speaker as he mounted your pulpit in the name of prophecy your work went down somebody exchanged something there are some pastors whose life has been exchanged i don't know who tempered it is but god will react <laughs> A pastor who a pastor who what he went to see his friend if the young man submits to me and he went to see his friend the friend said to him let's go and see my father that his own father he went there he saw the man the man was a bishop and he saw the man and he said yes he says apostle yeah. but that's too heavy that question is too heavy I know he's fine, but I can't say anything more than that. But I hear he is, and but I know he's okay. So, come, let me answer you. The man said, no. He said, why? So you can't answer me. He said, if it one is your son, I'm not your son. Lay hands on your son. He said, I want to bless you. I want to release fatherly blessings. You are not my father. It was trouble. I must lay hands on you. The man said, you don't lay hands on me. He said, I'm the sir. I may get physical with you. I will get, you will not lay hands on me. He said, I know by mentorship that only my father can put his hand on my head. He will not lay hands on me. And they were arguing. The man said, You will not lay hands on me. Next thing, the bishop started crying. Please, let me lay hands on you. The man said, You will not lay hands on me. No, please. The son also started crying. He said, You will not lay hands on me. He said, You will not lay hands on me. Oh, he stood up. So they said, please lock the door, lock the door. I was late on you. The pastor put the jacket. He said, somebody will die here. And left. The next day, the bishop's first son died. The second day, the second son was paralyzed. He looked for the boy. He said, please help me. What happened? That bishop was a cult and a cult man. His laying hands on that boy was to exchange the debts. But not everybody holding the mic is a man of God. There are things that people do now that are amazing. Was begging him, crying. The boy said, "Hold hands on me." What that happened? Young man told me. That I said, from that boy that says your friend, he knows about it. He says, not your friend. Brought you. Why was he crying? He should have been surprised that his father was crying. For him to be crying, he brought you. They brought you to exchange it. You know, there are means to enter and start going poor. Pastor will be going rich. And I'm, it will be the richest. No other pastor will be rich in the ministry. You show the pastors poor. All of them. You can't see any pastor who has a car. He will have like 20 cars. None of his pastor will have a car. You see that their suit? It looks like winter jacket. Poor. You see their shoes. That was the shoe Moses wore, and God said, Pull your shoes, pull your shoes. Poor! What is happening? Exchange. You will take it back. Take your seat. I prophesy. Anything they do.
took from you. Take it back. 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 Yes! Can I round up with this? Can I round up with this one? Dr. Manuel, the Bible says Jesus was going to the house of Jairus. As the woman touched him, he stopped. They taught you to slow your speed. As the lady touched him, he stopped. Who touched you and stopped you? What would have taken you one year is now taking you five years. How can you be in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an engagement, a courtship for seven years? Is it a building project? Even a building after one year, if it's not completed, it's already a case. A concern. You say you have a vision. I want to get married. My vision is to get married to this girl. Six years, eight years, ten years, twelve years. When a dream is too long, it becomes a nightmare. We were opening one of our churches in Dallas State in Asaba, and I had a prophecy. God said, There's a man here. That was in 19, in 2009. God said, There's a young man here. When I had the prophecy, I was shocked. Me, I was shocked. I was moving back and forth because I didn't know how to say it. And God said, There's a young man here. He said, Son, he has been engaged to a lady for 40 years. Now, how do you say that? So I said, there's a man who's been engaged to a lady for 40 years. I saw somebody, he's gone all gray, and he has his glasses on his nose. Another, he was holding another lady's hand. said, let's go forward, please. The lady is 55. He's been engaged to her since she was 15. She said, come out. I said, who is this? She said, my partner. I asked who is this? She said, my partner. I said, you have been engaged. Well, exactly, precisely 40 years. This month, 40 years. I what are you praying? See, I brought her here actually because I, I need us to be a word. I want you to confirm. I slap. Forty years. What do the children of Israel? Said they delayed 40 at 55. How can she give it back to a baby? Ruined her, wasted that time. And the relationship with the man for 10 years is still trying to decide. Dump him in the name of the Lord. I'm talking to you five years, seven years, eight years, ten years. 10 years for a governor in my country that's two tenures and two extra years for retirement 20 years of engagement 15 more years in my country they will retire you from civil service the yoke of delay stopped him touched him slowed his speed you know that's what the best did he cut off their thumbs and their toes he cut off their toes to slow their speed. Keep them on the spot. And there are people here who have been on one spot for long. 